All right, Colt. Hi, guys. Welcome back to another. Uh, <laughs> sorry, sorry. This is different. Um, basically, we got here about to make a video for kayak fishing. But I was looking over, and this pump to put water into the lake is on, y'all. And so I thought, man, this is a perfect time to make another episode. So I'm getting my fly rod out. I'm about to make a little fly fishing video for y'all. Welcome back to another episode of Real Huntsman. By the way, um, dude, I'm y'all. I am pumped. Last time this pump was on, I caught so many fish. And uh, so what we're gonna do today? is I'm basically going to show y'all this popper I tied in an earlier video. If y'all watched it, uh, great bass fly. And I am essentially going to uh, be throwing that and showing y'all that, man, this pattern works. And it's going to catch some mondos, okay? It's going to catch many, many fish. So, ooh, y'all, I'm excited. I got to get this bad boy all set up. And we're going to catch some fish. Hi, guys. So... Just finishing up tying this fly, doing a little improved clinch knot. That's pretty much what I use for everything, but especially for fly fishing, that's all I use. Um, unless if, for tying a fly onto the line, to the fishing line. Um, but, that should be good. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Do I show it to the camera? Yeah, y'all. So if y'all watching the last video, I'm tying a really natural color pattern. And this is a double barrel popper, medium size. I need to snip that off real quick. And then this is different than most. I'm throwing actually rabbit strips zonker on that back end. And I like it because it's a little bit heavier. So it allows that bass fly to sit more like that in the water rather than parallel to the water. And it just gives an extra little pop there. Man, it works like a charm. It's a loud pop and it just attracts so many fish, y'all. So we're gonna go and give it a twirl for y'all. And I think we're about to catch some fish. I can really dig into this ripple. I don't know, think about it. It's hard enough to get a bite off top water, and now you're trying to get a top water fly bite? That'd be pretty dope. <laughs> Oh, there yes! Go. There we go. <laughs> no, no! <laughs> I wasn't paying attention. I know. <laughs> Looking at Baylor. Hi there. That was a good one, too. I was like, oh. Oh, guys so uh me and colt pulled out onto the onto the lake about mm, 20 minutes ago and uh right now i'm just wrapping up fin or fishing uh probably like 100 yards offshore from where we fly fished earlier from the bank um there's a pretty good amount of surfacing on the water uh, about this area where i'm at right now but nothing really biting. Colt came over here and tried a little bit, but no luck. So we're going to head down real quick, kind of towards the dam. So uh, we'll keep you posted. You know, I was thinking, what better thing to do when you're just sitting here, you know, throwing the whole line in the water than strike up a good conversation about politics, you know? If it's 
not working, change it up. Buy something else on, you know? If you're on a soft plastic, throw on a chatterbait, you know? Well, I'm a pretty simple, simple fisherman, you know? I usually rock a lot of things, like soft plastics. Soft plastics. And, you know, if it's a cloudy day, sunny day, you know, you really need to tie something else on. Like, I'm probably just gonna keep the same thing on, honestly, just because I don't want to change out. It works pretty good. You know, it's working today great. So, I think I'm gonna keep doing it. Alright. Full update. About two and a half hours in. Not much luck. You know, I've resorted to turning on country music. Um, so yeah, we'll, we'll see. We're still trying. We're gonna go to this back cove, see what we're working with. You know, we're just, we're just, out, as long as we're out here, as like Combs says, you know, it's all that matters. Oh my gosh, dude. I'm doing this, fiddle farting with it. I knew they were about to hit it too. All right, guys. So we just wrapped up fishing at Wheeler Branch. Not a super successful day. Didn't land any fish, but uh, it was kind of encouraging. The, the hopper that Colt tied did pretty well. It got two bites. Um, it happens. It happens kind a decent amount out here, but it was good. It's still fun. It was good to get out in the morning and get on the water. So, yeah. Hi, guys. So, sadly, we were unsuccessful. I was hoping as Baylor's first time to go fishing since being back. You know, first time to be kayak fishing. Pretty much, you know, just with me. Usually it's Shay going out with me. Um, but Shay couldn't go today, so we borrowed his kayak. And, uh, you know, we hooked onto one with the fly rod a couple times. We've had a, we had a couple hits off of our other stuff, but just weren't able to figure them out today. You know, it is what it is. That's part of fishing. Most importantly, you gotta make sure you have a good attitude. Which near the end there, I started to not have a good, great attitude, but a good attitude and uh, also it was good, to, good to be out with your friends, just having a good old time. So make sure that uh, what's important is you get out fishing and uh, you know, get out fishing with your friends as well. If you're new to the channel, pretty much all we do here is hunting and fishing and you know, we post pretty much what happens to us on day to day occurrence. We don't hide anything out. We don't show you the best you know, only the best of the best. We, uh, we're a pretty real channel here, uh, the three of us, Shay, Baylor, and I. And so I hope you all enjoyed. Make sure to uh, give it a like. Always help support the channel. Um, and share, share the video. That always helps, definitely. So we hope you all enjoy. Real Huntsman, signing out.